watch you guys got another video on how to wipe your PC before selling it to clean off your personal data. Whether you're giving it away as a gift or recycling your PC or even selling your PC, you can use this method and it will erase all the data on the PC. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't done it already is back up all your data. There's plenty of free programs out there uh, that will back up all your data like IME Backupper and other tools out there as well. Or you can just plug in an external drive or USB flash drive and drag off all of the stuff that you want to back up. It's that simple. Once you've got all this backed up, you're ready to prepare for erasing the drive. So let's prepare to wipe our PC clean. So first thing you want to do is go to the start button here and go to the settings panel. This will open up your settings window. From here, we want to go to system and we want to come down to recovery. So let's go down to recovery here. Click on this one. And from here, we want to go to reset this PC. So click on reset PC and this will open up another window that says choose an option. So we can keep our files, which we don't want to do. We want to remove everything from the computer if we're selling it or giving it away or we are recycling it. So let's click on remove everything right here. And this is going to remove all of your personal data, your programs and everything else. Now, this is the option that is confusing to a lot of people local reinstall or cloud download. Well, local reinstall is basically going to use the existing Windows files on that system so you don't have to download them off of Microsoft. But if the Windows is corrupted or something like that, you may want to best to do a cloud download. And this is going to copy fresh files from the Microsoft servers. You are going to need to have an internet connection for this and it needs to be a pretty fast one to download at a reasonable rate. So we're gonna go ahead and use cloud download to download fresh Windows files. So make sure we've got a nice clean install. Next, under the additional settings, click on change settings. This is gonna allow us to add in the clean uh, data section. Now clean data in Windows 11 during the reset and wipe process refers to a thorough erasing of all of drive and making it very difficult to recover all of your data. This is basically zeroing out the drive uh, so there's no data to be recovered. Now, this is not to say that it's 100% foolproof, but it is the best you're going to get without installing any secure erase software onto the PC. Another option is to remove the drive and replace it with a brand new one, and that way you know no one's going to get your data. Also, we're going to be ready to reset the PC now. And you can see it's going to give you a full summary of what's going to actually happen when we click on reset. What I will tell you is because we've got clean data, it's going to take quite a few hours depending on the size of your drive. So it's going to prepare to reset the system and it's going to start downloading the files it needs from the cloud, from Microsoft servers, and then it's going to go into a reset mode to reset the PC back to factory settings and erase all of the data on that PC. It will go through and zero out the whole drive sector by sector to make it very difficult for people to even recover any sort of data from that PC. If you're that worried about it, I would replace the drive with a new drive or just completely get rid of the PC without a drive in it whatsoever. Now you will see a screen saying resetting this PC and you can see right here, this is going to take some time. So I'll speed this process up. But another way of erasing your drive is with the manufacturer software. You can normally erase the drive data, especially if it's an NVMe or an SSD type drive. You can normally erase the data on there with a secure erase. And I've made loads of videos showing you how to do that. So check out some of the videos on my channel. So what we're going to do is we'll let this go through and reset the PC. It will reboot a few times and then what it's going to do is start to boot up again. And once it starts to boot up, it's going to prepare our system. So you can see it's starting to install Windows now. It's finished with the erasing process. It will go ahead and install Windows on the system. This will take a bit of time. So just be patient, sit back and let it do its thing. And then it's going to say just a moment and it's going to get to the point where it's going to ask us to set up our user account so you should see this window right here and now you can go ahead and start to 
prep the system and set up the user account. Don't worry about setting up a user account this stage because what we're going to do is use sysprep at the end. But you can sort of configure it at this stage, but we're going to just get to the desktop first and we can show you all of the data has been removed from the PC. So just go through the motions here and set up any sort of account because don't worry, this account's going to be deleted and erased anyway. So just go through the motions here and we're going to skip for now. And this is where it's going to ask us for our user account. Now, you don't really want to be setting up the account as a Microsoft account at this stage because we've already erased the computer. So you want to try and use a local account. And there's quite a few ways of going about doing that. I'm not going to go through that in this video because it's not going to really matter because once we run sysprep, it's going to remove that account and details from the system anyway. So let's go through here and basically say no to all of the telemetry and advertising IDs and stuff like that. And once this is all done, it's going to check for updates and download all of the latest updates on that system. So it's going to say just a moment, and then it's going to get to this stage where it's going to build the user profile for the system and get back to the desktop. So once we're back at the desktop, we can then start to set up sysprep. So we should be at the desktop very shortly. There we go. And what we want to do now is open up Windows and System32 directory here and do a search for sysprep. So you can see I'm in my C drive, Windows and System32. And what we want to do is do a search for sysprep. And there it is right there. So we can click on this and now we can close that box down. So this is what we've got here. We want to go into enter system audit mode and restart the PC. It will automatically restart. And once we get back to the desktop, it will be in the administrator account. And from here, we can make changes to the system ready for the new customer that's going to get this PC. So here we have our PC right here and we're in the administrator account. So the first thing you're going to want to do is delete the old account that you just created. Now you can do this at the setup after you've just erased the PC, but we're going to do it at this stage because we want to install all of the drivers and software that you might want the person to have. So go into control panel, user accounts, and go into manage another account here, and you should see the accounts here. So click on the account that you just created and click remove. Delete all of the data and files. And that's what we want to do by clicking on this one here. Once that's done, it will say delete account. We can now delete the account. Because we're signed into the administrator account while we're in sysprep, uh, it will basically give the person the out of box experience and sign in to the PC with their own user profile rather than setting one up for that person because we don't know who's going to buy the PC or who's going to use the PC once we sell it. So from this stage, what we can do is now start to install all of the drivers that you need for the PC. Make sure Windows is fully updated and you can install any sort of software that you might want to install at this stage of the process. So in the system preparation tool, we're going to enter the outer box experience OOBE and we're going to put it on shutdown for the shutdown options and click OK. You will see a little box pop up on the screen and this will then shut the PC down and you can see it's preparing to clean up the sysprep tool and the system and shut the PC down for the first time. Now, when you've sold the PC, this is what's going to happen. So this is when the person is booting up the PC for the very first time. This is exactly what they're going to see when they turn the PC on and it's going to boot up for them like so. And they will get just a moment and then they will get to set up their user account and profile for that PC. So you don't have to try and guess the person's name or put in some obscure name like say new user or owner or whatever it is. They will get to choose their own user account and the computer is going to be completely clean of all of your data. They can choose the country and region where they live and everything should be exactly how they want it. And you won't have to worry about any of your data or any of the settings that you may have set. All of the software and drivers will be pre-installed during this stage because we've already configured the system to accept all of that. And that's pretty much it. That's basically some of the steps you can take now, if you're a bit paranoid about how secure that secure erase was when we erased it, 
then by all means, you can either replace the drive or use some other drive sanitation software, which I've made videos on in the past to completely erase the data. But it should be very difficult to recover the data using the method I've shown you. Most people will not be able to recover the data from that drive in any case. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.